Hi and welcome to section two of the Wing Chun Dummy form. If you've missed it, um, section one is on my channel. You can find it in the Wing Chun Dummy work playlist. Anyways, now that we've finished section one, we're moving on to section two. A couple of differences, a couple of similarities. Section two also has 10 movements. Um, it does start from the pre-fighting posture like section one, but it's not included as one of the movements like in section one. It's just getting ready again. All right. So, I'm going to try to go over this one pretty quick because we're only doing half of it and it's a pretty small section. Um, the first thing you should know is that your feet, they're not really going to move much in this section. We're pretty much all of our work is going to be coming from the waist and the hips. We won't be stepping to the side or doing much of that. Alright, so we start from our pre-fighting posture. This is where we're going to begin from. Our first movement is called an indoor area pox out. It's called indoor area because it's inside the arms. If you're an inside fighter, you'll probably use that a lot. Alright, so from pre-fighting posture, all we do is just basically push with the palm. As we push with the palm, we also want to turn the hips and the waist. That turn is what's going to give us the power to move the opponent. Alright? So in section two, the first three movements are just indoor area pox out. Right side, left side, right side. That's it. One, two, three. So we're already three-fifths of the way through the first half, or 30% of the way through the second half of the form. So after our indoor area pox out, next we're going to do an outdoor area pox out. So outdoor area, we're coming from outside the arm. In this particular case, we are staying still and we're gonna follow it straight from the center line. Um, but this outdoor area pox style, it's really useful. If you don't think being inside this fighter's grasp is a good idea, like if they're a really good grappler or something like that, you may not wanna leave yourself in harm's way, in which case an outdoor area pox style, putting yourself outside their reach where you can still hit them may be a better idea. Okay, so section two so far. One, two, three, four. We only have one more movement. So you finish the first half, and that's going to be cut throating hand, or sorry, throat cutting hand. And all it is is from the pox out. We're going to do a chop straight to the throat. It can be straight across, just across and over. Um, since I do Chuan Fa and Kempo as well, I have a habit to pull down to kind of change the height. And you may like that as well. There's nothing wrong with using that. But if you want to go straight across and over, that's fine. If you want to hit and then pull down and push in with well, kind of like a little bit of a jut style before you hit, it works wonderfully. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing that before. All right. So let's look at the complete second half, or sorry, the first half of section two. And that's it. As you see, our feet don't move much. Our hands do all the work, and we hit there. So let's go ahead and take a look at section one and the first half of section two together. That way you can see how it should look all in one. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. That really helps me. You can also check out my website at ArkansasWishu.com. Um, I'm a little bit behind on it, but I do try to keep a reference up there, a list of the different Chuan Fa and Kenzo techniques I teach, 
kind of try to write a blog and put some educational topics out there. If there's something you want to know about or would like me to write about, feel free to comment and let me know. Um, comment and let me know if there's something you would like to see a bit explained better or done better in these videos. I don't mind at all if you need to see a different angle or something. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, we should have sec or part two of section two out really quick. Thank you.